In this module, we'll dive into the crucial process of receiving payments from customers and managing undeposited funds. We'll guide you through the steps of recording customer payments, emphasizing the importance of separate steps in invoicing and payment tracking. Let's start by learning how to record customer payments. Suppose you sent out invoices to your customers a few days ago, and now they're making payments. It's essential to document these payments separately to mark the corresponding invoices as paid. Remember, creating invoices and receiving payments are distinct steps. To record a payment against an open invoice, follow these steps. Click on the New button, select Receive Payment under the Customers column. In the Receive Payment screen, choose the customer for whom you are receiving the payment. QuickBooks will warn you if you try to receive a payment for a customer without any open invoices. While you can receive a payment without an open invoice, it's generally best to create the invoice first and then record the payment. Select the customer with an open invoice, for example, Alan. QuickBooks will show a list of open invoices for Alan. Choose the appropriate payment method, such as a check, and enter the check number for future reference. In the Deposit To field, specify the bank account if the payment is directly deposited. If you plan to bundle this deposit with others on a different day, choose an account like Payments to Deposit or Undeposited Funds. These accounts help gather multiple customer payments, simplifying the reconciliation process when making a single deposit. Enter the dollar amount the customer paid, for example, $250. Then select the invoice to which you want to apply the payment. If there are multiple open invoices, manually choose which invoice is being paid. Click on Save and Close to complete the process. Now let's create a deposit from customer payments. Click on the bank deposit. In the previous module, we discussed creating a bank deposit to register deposits straight from income. If you have already created an invoice or a sales receipt, you already generated or recognized the income from those previous transactions. Remember, the deposit you are putting in the bank should not be recognized as income, but tied to a previous customer payment. Assume we went to the bank with three customer checks from a sales receipt or an invoice payment intending to put them in a single deposit. We can put a check mark next to each of those customer payments or sales receipts we want to include in the deposit. This list comes specifically from those customer payments and sales receipts where you chose payments to deposit or undeposited funds as the deposit to account. Once you have chosen all those payments to be deposited, click Save and Close and that will complete the deposit. To view the deposit in your bank register, click on the gear menu, select Chart of Accounts, search for the deposit. When you spot the deposit, click on it. The account assigned to that is split, indicating multiple transactions linked to this particular deposit. Clicking on the Edit button will take you back to the original bank deposit payment where you chose all the customer payments and the sales receipts tied to this particular payment. This method helps consolidate multiple customer payments into a single bank deposit, making account reconciliation easier. Now, let's transition to collecting money from our clients. Suppose our clients have started paying us after we sent them invoices a few days ago. To mark the invoice as paid, we need to keep track of the payment. If you're accepting a payment against an open invoice, follow these steps. Select New and then Receive Payment. If the client does not have any outstanding invoices, selecting them in QuickBooks might reveal that your accounts receivable would end up negative. It's usually best to create the invoice first and then accept the payment. Let's start with Alan, a client still waiting for payment 
on an outstanding invoice. If we go into QuickBooks and search for Allen, the program will display all outstanding bills for that client. Currently, there's just a single open invoice. Choose the payment method. For instance, they send a check to cover the payment. And for record keeping, note down the client's check number. If you're taking the money and heading straight to the bank, select the bank account in the deposit to area. If you plan to combine the deposit with other customer payments, choose an account like payments to deposit or undeposited funds. These accounts are crucial for holding client payments in accounting until they can be transferred to the bank. This system helps process many client payments efficiently. After the deposit is complete, you can consolidate multiple client payments into a single bank deposit, making account reconciliation much easier. Enter the exact amount the client paid, for example, $275. Review the invoice that will be paid and manually select which bills on this list are still pending payment. Click on Save and Close to complete the process. Now, let's consider receiving another payment. Go to the New menu, click on Receive Payment. Let's choose Ben from the drop down selection. If the client paid for both invoices at once, mark them as paid, and QuickBooks will calculate the total automatically. In cases where clients do not pay the entire amount, let's say they paid $600 of the $1,000, you can manually decide how the payment should be applied. For example, if you'd like to pay the second invoice in full before dividing the first one in half, input the respective dollar amounts for each invoice. QuickBooks will then keep track of the total amount to apply and the remaining unapplied credit. If the client paid with a single check and you want to include the check number for reference, select the appropriate bank account for deposit or choose the payments to deposit or undeposited funds account. Click Save and Close to complete the process. This shows the flexibility and power of QuickBooks Online in handling various scenarios when receiving payments. You have now gained valuable insights into the process of receiving customer payments and managing undeposited funds in QuickBooks Online. From recording single payments against open invoices to handling multiple invoices and creating deposits, you now have the skills to streamline your financial transactions effectively. In the next module, we'll continue our exploration of QuickBooks Online diving into advanced topics to further enhance your proficiency in managing your business finances. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.